cakes are known to consume so much feed right from bed till the rich market with now let's get this right as a pig farmer you can't just feed your pigs with any kind of feed or without weighing the feed do you get it so in this video i'm going to take you through the amount of feed that you should give your pigs in a day right through all the stages so from the winner stage the grower stage and the finisher stage so let's get right into today's video When piglets are born, they feed on the sow's milk and this continues for a period of about 4 weeks. During the first 2 weeks, you can allow the piglets to feed solely on the sow's milk. But after that, it is very important to introduce some form of feeding to the piglets. This form of feeding is known as crib feeding. So what is crib feed? Crib feed is a protein rich feed that helps in the smooth transition of the piglets from liquid to solid feeding. And then you may wonder why is crib feeding important this is because young piglets have so much milk digesting enzymes but very low levels of carbohydrate digesting enzymes so by introducing crib feeding you are helping the piglets to produce some form of carbohydrate digesting enzymes and you're also training the guts of the piglet to be able to digest carbohydrate food so now we've established that crib feed is given within a period of two to four weeks now let's see the amount of crib feed you are supposed to give each piglet in a day. You start by giving each piglet 50 grams of feed and then you monitor their, their intake. If they are eating so much, you increase it to 100 grams, consequently increase to 150 grams, 200 grams. And then by the end of the two week period, each piglet will be consuming about 350 grams of crib feed in a day. And at the end of the four weeks, they will also be weighing about 7 kilograms. So let's move on to the next stage, which is the winner or starter stage. The winner or starter stage lasts for a period of 4 to 10 weeks. Now what is the winner stage or starter stage? So now you know that as the piglet is being fed the crib feed, it's alongside still feeding on the, um, the milk. So it gets to a point where the piglet is detached completely from the sow. So that is the winner stage. Over here, the pig feeds entirely on solid feed. At the start of the winner stage, the pig weighs about 7 kilograms. And our goal over here is to feed the pig to attain a weight of 25 kilograms. That means that you want the pig to gain 18 kilograms in addition to its original weight, which is 7 kilograms. So we are going to use the feed conversion rate to calculate the exact amount of feed that we need to give the pigs in a day so that they gain this 25 kilogram weight at the end of this six week period. The feed conversion rate refers to the total kilograms of feed needed to gain a specific body weight. The feed conversion rate should be at least two and not greater than three. If the feed conversion rate is greater than three, then it means that we are wasting food because this excess feed they are giving to the pigs will not be converted into body weight. So let's calculate for this starter stage or winner stage. We know that the rate should be at least two and not greater than three so it's between two and three so let's take our feed conversion rates to be two so we are going to have two two will be equal to the total kilograms of feed needed all over 18. so now the total kilograms of feed needed will be two times 18 which will give us 36 kilograms now let's take the feed conversion rates to be three we'll be having three equals total kilogram of feed needed all over 18 and that will give us total kilograms of feed needed is equal to 3 times 18 which will give us 54 kilograms so what does this mean it means that for the entire six weeks period which is 42 days if we feed our pig our piglets with 36 kilograms to 54 kilograms of feed they are going to gain 18 kilograms body weight and let's find the amount of feed they are going to give the piglets in each day so it's a six week period which is 42 days so then We'll be having 36 over 42 which will give us 0 0.9 kilograms and then 54 over 42 which will give us 1.2 kilograms so it means that each day the a piglet should be fed about 0 0.9 kilograms to 1.2 kilograms of feed that is all for the winner stage so now let's move on to the next stage which is the grower stage the grower stage lasts for a period of 10 to 18 weeks 
This means that the entire grower stage lasts for a period of 8 weeks. At the start of the grower stage, the piglet weighs about 25 kilograms. And I'll go over here is to help the and I'll go over here is to feed the pig to attain a body weight of 70 kilograms. That means that we are feeding the pig to gain 45 kilograms of weight. So now let's use the conversion rate. We have two and three. So now let's use the feed conversion rate of two. So we have two to be equal to the total kilograms of feed all over 45. So from there we have total kilograms of feed to be two times 45, giving us 90 kilograms. So now let's take the feed conversion rate of three. So we have three to be equal to total kilograms of feed all over 45. Then from there we have the total kilograms of feed to be 3 times 45 which will give us 135 kilograms. So this means that for the grower stage which is a period of 8 weeks we should be feeding the pig with 90 kilograms to 135 kilograms of feed. So let's find the amount of feed that the pig will consume in a day. So the 8 week period is equal to 56 days. So we are going to have 90 over 56 which will give us 1.6 kilograms and then 135 over 56 which will give us 2.4 kilograms so that means that for that so that means that at the grower stage the pig should be fed 1.6 kilograms to 2.4 kilograms in a day and that is for the grower stage so now let's move on to the last stage which is the finisher stage the finisher stage is the period from 18 weeks to 24 weeks so this means that the entire finisher stage lasts for a period of six weeks. At the start of the finisher stage, our pig weighs about 70 kilograms, about 70 kilograms. And our goal here is to feed the pig to attain a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms. So now let's use the feed conversion rate, which is equal to total kilograms of feed over the total kilograms of body weight we want the pig to attain. So with a feed conversion rate of 2, we have 2 to be equal to total kilograms of feed all over 50 kilograms. So that will give us 50 times 2, which is 100 kilograms. And then using the feed conversion rate of 3, we have 3 to be equal to total kilograms of feed over 50. Over 50. And that will give us 3 times 50, which is 150 kilograms. So that means that in the entire finisher stage, the pig will be fed a total amount of 100 kilograms to 150 kilograms. So let's find how much the pig should be fed in a day. So the six weeks period is equal to 42 days. So we have 100 over 42, which will give us 2.4 kilograms. And then we have 150 over 42, which will give us 3.5 kilograms. So that means that in the finisher stages, the pig should be fed about 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms of feed so we can take an average of that to give us the minimum amount so that will be 2.4 plus 3.5 kilograms over 2 which will give us 3 kilograms so in the finisher stages each pig should be fed 3 kilograms of feed in a day so this is the end of today's video i'll be making subsequent videos on the pig feed formulation how to formulate feed how to combine the ingredients and even how to write a pig farming business plan. So there are more videos coming up. Hit the subscribe button if you want more of these. Thank you for staying with me. Bye-bye.